This formula over here, power is equal to sigma a t to the 4 is Stefan Boltzmann's law. It's this one over here, which basically says that the total power radiated by a black body per unit area is proportional to the fourth power of the temperature of the body. So we've got here that power divided by area is proportional to the fourth power of the temperature, and it's the absolute temperature, it's the temperature in Kelvin. Now, it mentions here black body. What does that mean? Well, a black body is a perfect emitter of radiation. Basically, gives out all its radiation. We can view the sun as a black body. We can view a light bulb as a black body. These are things that give out all the energy. And it's related in, in this fashion over here. So, if you know the temperature of a body, the temperature then that will give you an indication, if you know the area, that will give you the indication of the, the power. Now, this sigma here, sigma is Stefan Boltzmann's constant, and it's 5.67 times 10 to the negative 8 uh, watts per meter squared per Kelvin to the negative 4. And that value can be found in the front of your textbook. Now just to go a little bit more into this idea of a black body, let's, I just want to call up our data booklet here. We have Stefan Boltzmann's law, which brings this out. But going back one or two slides here, I want to just mention this law over here. And this is Vine's law, where your lambda max times your temperature is equal to Vine's constant. Vine's constant is 2.9 times 10 to the negative 3 and that's actually given to you in the astrophysics part of the of the data booklet that value there now basically what it says this is for black body radiation all right so with a black body at a temperature at a certain temperature the wavelength you see here this is the wavelength and here of the here on the vertical axis is the power. Now this graph is giving an indication according to wavelength of where most of the power is being emitted. So over here we're getting at when the body that we're dealing with is 2000 Kelvin, your wavelength is about say 1.8 nanometers. Um, let's check that. Actually, it's micrometers. This is a micro over here. I couldn't see that. So, as the temperature decreases, as you can see here, we're looking at 1250 Kelvin. If we find our maximum wavelength, the wavelength where most of the power is being generated, this wavelength has actually increased. So, the temperature is inversely proportional to the wavelength, and that's the maximum wavelength, the max meaning where most of the power is being radiated. So as the wavelength lengthens, as it gets longer, then your temperature actually will decrease. So by looking at the sun, for instance, the sun has got a temperature of about 5,000 Kelvin, 5,700 Kelvin, that's the surface temperature. That was figured out by looking at the wavelength where most of the energy from the sun is being transported to the earth. Now, remember too that your speed of light is equal to frequency times wavelength. So your, your speed of light is a constant at 3 times 10 to the 8 in a, in a vacuum. So if your wavelength is increasing your frequency must correspondingly be decreasing. So as the, as the temperature drops, as it gets lower and lower, then what happens is that your frequency, sorry, as, as your temperature gets lower and lower, your wavelength will increase and correspondingly your frequency is going to decrease. And then just one other formula that you haven't really seen yet, but we will see later on, is that E is equal to HF. We view uh, light has been carried by small particles called photons and the energy of these photons is 
is directly proportional to the frequency. So as the frequency increases, your energy increases. And we'll look at that in a little bit more detail when we look at the greenhouse effect. Now, coming back to this formula over here, we see this formula over here is very similar to this. It's a variation on that, but we've got the small e here. And that is the emissivity. That is the emissivity of, um, and over here we have the definition of it. It's the ratio of the power emitted by an object to the power emitted by a black body at the same temperature. So it's a ratio. E can be from 0 to 1, where 1 would be black body radiation, and where 0 would be that you're getting just about no radiation. So some materials don't emit their heat, don't transport the heat away from them. Uh, this would have a low emissivity. So emissivity is just the ratio, as it says over here, is the ratio of the power emitted by an object to the power emitted by a black body at the same temperature.